some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up on uh, Brooklyn Audits, a.k.a. the Orange Doofus. And I only call him that because of the orange fiasco that took place the other day. And a good portion of the fraud community itself has been in an uproar about it because it's such a morality issue that makes them look like a bunch of criminals. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the majority of you are criminals. And now we're going to take a look at what the godfather of these criminals has to say. Here's the deal. And additionally, I'm going to show you a piece of a video that was sent to me by... Uh, Frauders exposed today regarding another theft that he was involved in of an apple. He has definitely got that criminal mentality, which is why these frauditors want them so much. They may deny it, but they are all that way. Not thievery per se, but they are all criminals. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, I wanted to put this out there as a supplement to my last video where I talk about Brooklyn Audits and his theft of the orange and his lies to cover his tracks. Somebody, well, a couple of people gave me some more information that's kind of vital to go along with this because it shows that this is just, this isn't an isolated case. This isn't a one-off. He has done this kind of thing on camera before. If somebody has the mentality of a criminal just like he does, and he's done it before, you bet your ass he's going to do it again. And he won't care who sees him. In fact, as I've said in a previous video about him, I know some thieves who are just like him in the same mentality. They believe everything in their visual range belongs to them. In fact, one guy I know that is a career thief, he doesn't call it uh, stealing, he calls it shopping. And let's face it, dude, uh, your kind of uh, career right here of auditing, of being a bunch of jackasses to begin with, kind of attracts the scumbags of the world. I'm just going to roll his stealing of the orange real quick and then i want to show you that two months ago and i'll show you from his own channel i can't show this to you from his own channel because he has taken it down it says video unavailable this video has been removed by the uploader i kind of understand why but also on the other end of it he should just keep it up because he made his bed and he needs to sleep in it so i'm going to play this right here and i'm going to show you the video that he took of himself also stealing an apple so, I don't know, man. Damn. I want a an apple. I want an orange, actually. I want a fucking orange. It's good. Yeah. God, it's my fucking neighborhood. I'll take whatever I want. So, he takes the orange. Later on, he lies to the cops and says, it dropped on the floor, and I know the shop owner, and he let me have it. And he says, get the F out of here. I'll take what I want. Having this attitude of, hey, I'll steal anybody's stuff that I want to steal. Almost like if you invited him, and this is, I can't stop thinking about this Brooklyn audit, but it's almost like if you invited him into your house, if he's going to steal an orange, what if you got 50 bucks laying on the table? What if you have, you know, a silver coin? What if you have a gun? Is he going to take that? You can't trust him. And indeed, in my own experiences with this uh, thief that I had to deal with, you couldn't trust him either. Now, uh, unfortunately, I had no choice uh, in the matter, but he was allowed in the house because he was a relative of my landlord. And the landlord, uh, well, uh, was in complete denial of who he actually was. And I remember the first week that I lived in that place, the one that just burned down. He stole something of mine and uh, justified it by saying that he thought it belonged to uh, the landlord, which is an insane justification already. I learned to not keep things in his sight range. Now, he wouldn't go uh, busting into somebody's room and take anything. If it was in the living room, sitting in the living room, it was fair game to him. As far as uh, 
stores like Target and Walmart, oh, he would steal from them all day long and wouldn't think twice about it. And he's established a pattern on this because here is a video from a live stream where it says live at 62nd New York City Police Department precinct. And it was done, what's the date? Just to give you the exact date. This was streamed live on February 15th, 2023. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how bad this is. It's got 236 likes and six dislikes. Now, granted, there's probably a lot of people who haven't seen this because it was a three hour and 42 minute live stream and you can't expect somebody to have seen everything. So it, it'd be easy to miss this, but I wanna present this to you because this is who Mark, I think that's what his name is. This, who, this is who Mark from Brooklyn Audits has presented himself to be on his own video recording. Here's, here he is stealing an apple. I'm gonna go up to this train station and I'm gonna end the live. It's like three blocks away. Normally I catch them hanging out in the train station. There's a train station coming up. Oh, I want a fucking apple. Cheers to you, thank you for the apple. I want an apple. I'm gonna wipe it down too. Getting hungry out here. Three hours on this live. Not too shabby. All right, there's a train station two blocks on my left. There's no more action, then I'll just let it go. We'll just end it. Not too shabby. Yeah, not too shabby. It's a free apple uh, from the labor of others. So I've stolen from somebody on camera in front of my audience. If I had known this is what kind of person Brooklyn Audit is, I would have never, ever recommended him. And I recommended him twice and he got a couple of subscribes out there. So I apologize to the sub subscribers that I led to Brooklyn Audit. I will be unsubscribing. As a matter of fact, I'm unsubscribing right now. Oh, here we go. I'm going to unsubscribe. I'm not subscribed. Okay, you're fine with the uh, kidnappers such as Ass Elmo. You're fine with the uh, domestic abusers like uh, Glenn Serio. You're fine with uh, so many other frauditors who have a vast range of crimes under their belt. But thievery? Uh, no, that's crossing the line right there. Okay, then. Uh, shows what your personality is all about. It is really a reflection of your underlying uh, douchebaggery, if I could put it that way. I'm not going to subscribe to somebody that I know is a thief and a liar and claims to be on our side. You're not on our side. Oh, you want to stuff the liars into that category, too. Okay, well, you should unsubscribe to every one of the other frauditors out there, because guess what? They all lie, too. And so do you. And the thing that I learned was that a couple weeks ago, I guess the reason his numbers blew up is a couple weeks ago, roughly, I guess, 11 or 12 days ago. I couldn't find the video. I was trying to find it before I, I did this video right here. But a couple weeks ago... Long Island audit was kind enough to give him a shout out and he just got crazy. Look, he was getting 180 subscribers a day, 240, 400. And then he got the shout out from Long Island audit, 800 people in one day, 1.6 thousand subscribers in a day, 2.4 thousand. He's got 7,500 subscribers from Long Island audit. And, and this right here, it, it's kind of like the, the, I don't know if it's a saying or whatever on parent, paraphrasing it, I'm probably slaughtering it, but a lot of good can be undone or polluted by just one ounce of bad. And guess what? Your side does that every single day they go out. Every time they confront somebody who is an innocent person and antagonize them out on the street for absolutely no reason, they undo everything that you want to to do everything that you want to prove to everybody that your side is the correct way. 
to hold the police accountable, to hold the government accountable, but yet your side is continuously undoing that narrative and making your people look bad every single day. That is exactly why the troll community exists, to point that out. Every time that your side does something bad, which is every day, they make themselves look less and less like the heroes that they think they are, and more like the villains. So don't feed me that BS when your side is already full of scumbags and uh, monsters, and not at least not one of them is trying to do anything good for the world. And so you you lead people to this person you think is doing a good job because you know you think he's a person of good moral stature and good character and he's he's got virtue because that's what we need in this day and age. You know, no people will tamely surrender their liberties, nor will any be easily subdued when knowledge is diffused and virtue is preserved. On the contrary, when people are universally ignorant and debauched in their manners, they will sink under their own weight without the aid of foreign invaders. And that is what Brooklyn Audit did. It's a betrayal of Long Island Audit. It's a betrayal of, of AFA, who also brought subscribers his way. It's a betrayal of any auditor who brought subscribers over to Mark so that they can enjoy and learn from his content. It's a betrayal, Mark. It's a betrayal. And I'm talking to Mark from Brooklyn Audits. Another thing that I learned and wanted to mention is that News Now Ninja and Auditing Erie County went to great lengths to call the shop owner from whom Brooklyn Audits took the orange to get him to drop the charges. And it took him a day because he was pissed off about that. He didn't think too kindly about some vagrant coming in and stealing the product of his time and laboring energies, basically stealing money and food out of his kid's mouth because that's probably how he keeps the lights on. That's how he keeps a roof over his head. That's how he keeps clothes on his children's back and food in their stomachs. But Brooklyn Audit goes, F you, I'll do what I want. This is my neighborhood. Indicating that, hey, he stole the orange. He stole the apple two months ago. He stole the orange yesterday. And that was on video. How many times does he go through the neighborhood and just take things that aren't his? Was that that electric scooter that he got? Is that his? Is the cell phone that he uses to record police? Is that his? Is Does the coat that he wears, is that his? It opens this whole can of worms on these legitimate questions that can and probably should be asked because of his actions. His actions dictate, hey, you're, you've just shown me you're a man of questionable character. Actually, there is no question. We know what kind of person you are, but auditing Erie County and News Now Ninja go to great lengths to contact the shop owner, get him to cool down, contact him a day later, and get him to drop the charges. That That's a friend right there. That's showing virtue. That's really wanting to bail your friend out. Not, And I'm not saying News Now Ninja and auditing Erie County are, are applauding what Brooklyn Audit did, but from a human being to another human being, they wanted to get the human being out of the cell. Out of the out of the cage at the the precinct, which it was sixty second precinct or whatever it was. Yes, I agree with you. Brooklyn Audits has shown everybody who he is, and he is a low down, dirty scumbag, like everybody on our side already knew. And yet, it took you this long to figure that out because you are so deep up your own ass that you couldn't see it not until he blatantly stole that orange on that live stream the other day and only now are you beginning to figure it out because he had all the other qualities that you wanted all those other criminal qualities that you desire but it just happened to be stealing that you were offended by never mind that uh most frauditors already have a criminal record as long as my arm. Never mind that they accuse police officers of being wife beaters when the majority of frauditors are wife beaters themselves. Never mind that people like Asselmo will go out of their way and kidnap people just because. Never mind that you got Silence Boy in the streets pepper spraying random people. Oh no no no. That's just fine. But the moment that somebody steals, that's a problem. Well, as I said before, that's really just a sign of what kind of people you truly are. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.